What's going on everyone? Pace Python here and Happy New Year 2022. This is a huge step from a very okay year to a hopefully much better year. But let's get into the video. So in today's video, we will be talking about a theory that was only talked about by one other avatar commentator known as the Avatarist. But first, let's get in depth to why I think this theory might be true. Now, we all know from the episode Zuko Alone that Iroh's son died at the Siege of Ba Sing Se, which caused Iroh to pull back all of his men and also motivated Prince Ozai, which he was known as at the time, to ask Fire Lord Azulon at the time to make him the Fire Lord or Crown Prince instead of Iroh because of his failure at the Siege of Ba Sing Se. And this caused Fire Lord Azulon to become angry with Ozai and tell him to kill Zuko as a punishment for making this horrifying decision. Now, Ozai doesn't actually kill Zuko, but he ends up killing Azulon with the help of Ursa, who ends up leaving to find Aikim, and then Ozai becomes Fire Lord. Now on to the actual theory. So we all know Ozai is a very ruthless and evil man who will get rid of anybody that gets into his way of victory. He even got rid of his own father and almost even killed his own son. He even tried to leave Azula behind while trying to conquer the rest of the Earth Kingdom, which furthermore proves the point that Ozai will get rid of anybody, including his family, which gets into his way. So we know that Luten was killed in the battle, which caused Iroh to pull back his army and surrender at the walls of Ba Sing Se, which motivated Ozai to go to Fire Lord Azulon to make him crown prince and heir to the throne himself instead of Iroh because of his failure at Ba Sing Se. Also in the flashbacks of Zuko alone, we also see Azula herself saying that Ozai would be next in line to be Fire Lord, like this clip here. Fire Lord Azulon. Can't you just call him Grandfather? He's not exactly the powerful Fire Lord he used to be. Someone will probably end up taking his place soon. Now we also knew that in the search, Ozai had some archers who he could send to kill anybody, and he sent them after I came, but at no success. Now, on to the actual theory or hypothesis in itself. The theory is that Ozai could have sent archers to Ba Sing Se to kill Lu Ten or Iroh in order for Iroh to fail at the siege of Ba Sing Se so that Ozai can be next in line to become Fire Lord himself. Now, I know what you're thinking, but that's pretty messed up and Ozai wouldn't really do that. But you have to also understand, Ozai was willing to kill his own son in order to become Fire Lord. He even wanted Azulon to revoke Iroh's birthright, which is his own brother, in order to become Fire Lord. Therefore, Ozai could have possibly gotten Luten assassinated, or he could have been wanting Iroh dead instead. Now before you actually think this could be true, this is only a possibility and a theory. But, I'm going to also explain why it could not be true at the same time. Now, we're all pretty sure that Azulon would probably get word of Ozai trying to get rid of Luten. Because, I mean, he is literally the Fire Lord, so he could probably get word on what the archers are doing themselves. And then Iroh would have eventually found out what happened to his son, and he would likely get revenge on Ozai. Or if Azulon and Iroh both had knowledge of Ozai trying to kill Iroh or his son, Ozai would have most likely been banished. And Ursa would probably be the next Fire Lord instead of Ozai, despite possibly being a non-bender. But we still don't know if she's a bender or not, but that's pretty irrelevant to this video. So, in conclusion, Ozai may or may not have had Luten killed, in order to make Iroh leave Ba Sing Se in order to become Fire Lord himself. And I want to know what you guys think in the comments below. I want to know what you all think of this theory and if there's any points that I missed. 
please let me know in the comments section below or if you have anything else to prove this theory leave that in the comments section below well now we're at the end of the video please like share and subscribe and turn on notifications try to get to a hundred subscribers and then we will start our adventure to a thousand subscribers and once we get to 100 subscribers I will start a twitch channel where I will stream video games such as like Minecraft or Call of Duty so let's try to get to that hundred subscribers goal please like share and subscribe oh wait I said that already and turn on notifications so you do not miss a single upload I do avatar content and I will see you all in the next video goodbye everyone